So you're thinking about moving to Hoboken, New Jersey. Well, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the top pros and cons of living in Hoboken, New Jersey. So stay tuned because some of these stuff you might have heard about, but some towards the end you probably never heard about before. And I can guarantee you it'll help you with your decision making process. So why don't we get after it right now? Hey, if you're new to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living, eating, drinking in Hoboken, New Jersey, and the surrounding area, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you're the first to know about the current market in Hoboken, New Jersey. This is Seth with the Living in North New Jersey channel and we get calls, emails, messages every day from people just like you that's looking to make a move to Hoboken, New Jersey. And we absolutely love it. So whether it's one day later or 100 days later, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to North New Jersey. So let's get after our video today. We're going to be talking about the top 10 pros and cons of living in Hoboken, New Jersey. And a lot of people really tend to kind of mix it up or find it very very similar to Jersey City downtown district which is 100% true but there are some differences uh, minor differences that could make major differences in one's life so that's going to completely depend on you but we're going to be going over Hoboken today if you want to learn more about Jersey City you can do that in one of our other videos but today we're going to be talking about the top pros and cons of living in Hoboken and I think you're going to really get some value out of this video because some of these things are absolutely phenomenal for a lot of people and that's really the reason why they make the move to Hoboken. But some things is important to just understand, you know, keep them in the back of your mind so you get a good understanding of what are some things to look out for. And I think those things are going to be maybe the most valuable to you, but it's good to know a little about the both and weigh it depending on what you are looking for in Hoboken. So let's get started. The proximity to New York City. This is probably the top, one of the top things in most people's list when it comes to moving to Hoboken. And it's minutes away from Hoboken. There's so many different ways you can travel to New York City, whether it's by the path, by the train, the bus or ferry. And the average commute time from Hoboken to New York City is about 22 minutes. But this really depends on the kind of commutes that you're choosing. The fastest way to do this is by the ferry, which only takes about seven to eight minutes to really get across the Hudson River. And boom, you're at the amazing city of New York City. And there's so many different things that you could do there outside of work, if that's something that you're really commuting to. But outside of that, you know, during the night or during the day, many, many different kind of things to do in the New York City with famous restaurants, you know, Broadway shows, different kinds of shows, activities, uh, just really having a good time overall with all the different things that New York City has to offer on top of what Hoboken already has to offer. Uh, so that is absolutely amazing. And it sounds like to me where a lot of people in New York City are coming towards Hoboken for this reason. They can still enjoy what New York City has to offer almost entirely, but you get so much more in Hoboken for what you're paying for. And a lot of people really do enjoy that small town community feel of what Hoboken has to offer. All right, moving on to our pro number two. So vibrant social scene. And what I really refer to when I'm saying vibrant social scene is all the kind of scenery and shops and restaurants and just activities Hoboken has to offer, generally speaking. So this city has a lot to offer, especially for the young adults that are looking for some kind of fun. And this could be, you know, whether you want to really have a restaurant to go to. And there's really a lot of different ways you can have fun in Hoboken, whether this is some restaurants. A lot of people enjoy the bars there. A lot of people like to enjoy the kind of scenery at night with the Manhattan skyline, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. And outside of that, there's just so much like live music, you know, local restaurants and shops, just like the way they have it in New York City. And there's just so many different kinds of things you can enjoy in Hoboken and still get that small town feel. And it's just a very, very vibrant scene, uh, even at night. So New York City is not the only city that doesn't sleep at night. I would consider Hoboken to be one of those cities as well. So that's gonna bring us to our next pro, our third pro, which is gonna be easy walkability and bikeability, meaning it's very, very easy to walk or bike anywhere in Hoboken or even to New York City if that's something you're willing to do, uh, as well as Jersey City if you do work anywhere around that area. 
The city of Hoboken is really designed for people that walk and bike. There's lanes all over Hoboken for just biking where it's very, very specific to only bike riders. So if you are into biking, this is gonna be wonderful heaven on earth for you. And it's gonna be absolutely easy to get around wherever you need to, whether it's groceries that you wanted to do, whether it's going to a department store or just have a good kind of exercise routine in place where it's safe to do. And it's just a very easy way to get around if you know you want to commute to work that way or just use it for you know daily kind of things that you might need like you know going to maybe get some food coffee or just get some exercise in by walking or by biking and you can really see that most people in hoboken tend to walk rather than drive because one it's so much easier two you don't really need a car to get the things that you want because everything is just so close to each other so that's something to keep in mind. You don't need to really heavily rely on a car as a lot of people in Hoboken do not even own a car for this reason. Uh, you know, parking could be difficult and it's just very easy to get to wherever you need in Hoboken, New Jersey. All right, we're gonna move on to my personal favorite pro for Hoboken. And I absolutely love this about Hoboken more than probably anything else. And that's gonna be the waterfront and the views. And if you did see our full vlog tour in Hoboken, you can really see what it looks like on video. And we absolutely recommend you check that video out if you wanna see what Hoboken looks like in person. But the waterfronts and views is one of the main attractions to Hoboken, bringing so many people from all around New Jersey, as well as New York City, just to enjoy the absolutely phenomenal views that you can't really get from New York City. You can almost only get this from the New Jersey side uh, because it just has the entire view of New York City from New Jersey side looking across Hudson River. So if you are into any kind of scenery or enjoying scenery while going on walks, the waterfront location is probably gonna be your best place in Hoboken. Definitely recommend checking that out in person if you are not even planning to live in Hoboken as I personally live a little further away from Hoboken but I always visit the waterfront here and there just to enjoy a good time whether it's with friends enjoy some coffee enjoy a night walk and it's absolutely amazing to enjoy the scenery there and that brings us to our last pro here that's some strong community spirit Hoboken has a lot of people say Hoboken is in a city it's a small town with a small community that brings a lot of togetherness into it and you know this because of all the different kind of programs and activities that this city always brings out each week several times a week like festivals farmers markets and just lots of different kind of activities outdoors that brings the community together to meet new people meet new friends and have a good time together build those relationships because that's what hoboken is known for you know a lot of the people that i've really met in hoboken most of them are longtime residents anywhere from 15 to 25 to 35 40 years so it's very hard to get out of a city like this after building those amazing connections and relationships as well as the town that is just very incomparable to anything else a lot of people can't find a town just like that where you're living an urban lifestyle as well as a small town feel and for the people that are looking for something that are looking for that kind of feel this is the perfect spot where you are enjoying the city like atmosphere and also enjoying you know friendly neighborhoods great people great outdoor activities recreational parks things like that and there's just so many different kind of organizations and community events that you can join on a regular basis which just makes it a whole lot better all right moving on to some of the drawbacks hoboken has you know all those good things about hoboken but trust me every single city has downsides to them it just depends on are these affecting your decision making for making that move so number one is going to be the high cost of living hoboken has and this really goes for everything from rent groceries you know all these different kinds of daily things that you spend money on uh, whether it's food or whether it's you know your mortgage payments or it's coffee you know going out to do an activity uh, all of these are much higher in hoboken in comparison to the u.s average and Rent is right about $39.50 a month on average in Hoboken. Obviously, this could be starting from $2,000, go, go up to $10,000, uh, really depending on what you're looking for. And the average home prices is right around $760,000 in Hoboken. 
So generally speaking, a lot of things are way more expensive in Hoboken as it's very natural for that to be because it's an urban city-like area. Uh, but if you want more information on the cost of living in Hoboken, make sure to go to our channel and check out our cost of living in Hoboken video where it will go in depth into what you need to know about moving to Hoboken when it comes to financials and things that relate to that. All right, our next con is gonna be the limited space. So what do we mean by limited space? So as you guys know, Hoboken is a very densely populated city. It's only about one square mile, uh, closer to two square miles if we include the water. And it's just much smaller in comparison to the suburbs. If you guys are used to suburbs, the same amount of money that you might be able to buy a home in the suburbs is gonna be a much smaller condo or apartment in Hoboken. But this often outweighs the cons to it, you know, with all the attractions and the proximity to New York City. Uh, a lot of people don't really care about the size of their home after being in such a hustling and bustling city that just brings so much kind of adventurous vibes to their life. So finding a larger home in Hoboken could be challenging for a lot of people that have growing families or plan to have that, especially in the real estate market nowadays. But if you do have any questions regarding you know, finding a home or finding the right size for yourself, feel free to reach out and let us know and maybe we can help you navigate through some of those questions you might have and maybe we can help you find the perfect home for you. All right, moving on to our third con, and that's gonna be parking and traffic. So anybody that knows in large cities as well as densely populated cities could have hard parking. You know, it's hard to park, hard to find a spot, things of that nature, but there is one solution that most people prefer that do want to have a car and do kind of want to use that car on a daily or regular basis. So there's really two forms of parking in Hoboken. One is going to be garage parking and garage parking is available throughout several different parts of Hoboken, very easily accessible to most apartments and most people's homes. And that could vary anywhere from $250 to $350 a month, uh, depending on, you know, the garage and the location of it. And the second kind of parking is going to be a permit parking and permit parking uh, could be purchased. I believe it's on an annual basis where you can almost park anywhere in Hoboken on the streets of Hoboken as long as you find a spot. So if you do find a spot, well, that's gonna be your best bet in terms of a more budget-friendly approach. But if you don't mind the parking uh, fee on a monthly basis, the garage parking has, that could be a great option for you. You can 100% guarantee find a spot all the time because it's your same spots. Uh, and the only thing is, is you might need to walk an extra few minutes uh, if it's near you. Traffic on the other hand is something that is almost not avoidable unless you just want to walk everywhere, which a lot of people don't mind at all. And the traffic in Hoboken is actually not that bad. The only thing you need to consider, there's a lot of stop sign everywhere. So it kind of slows your commute in the city as well as outside of Hoboken City and just make sure that in peak hours there could be an extra few minutes of traffic because of congestion as naturally as it does happen and if you do just you know kind of drive anytime outside of those peak hours you're probably not gonna have any issue at all whatsoever so just make sure you keep those couple things in mind especially the parking one so let's move on to our fourth con and that's gonna be noise and crowds and Hoboken is known for his excitement and energy uh, all throughout of it. But one thing to keep in mind is even though Hoboken is very high in energy, high in noise, high in excitement, there are parts of Hoboken where it's a bit more quiet. And if you do prefer that, more quiet and not too many cars, not too much noise, especially at night, you can move towards the outer layer of Hoboken you know towards the Jersey City Heights area where it's not too close to all the hustling and bustling uh, downtown district and that's something that we can you know help you kind of navigate through if you have any questions on that reach out to us our information is below uh, but when it comes to noise and crowds obviously that's what Hoboken is known for so if you're gonna move anywhere closer to the waterfronts anywhere closer to the downtown or Washington Street that's gonna be one thing to keep in mind if you're coming from Manhattan it's probably not a problem since you're already used to it but it's one thing to take in consideration you know nevertheless and our last con of the video is gonna be the limited public school options so 
Since Hoboken is a fairly small town, there isn't a ton of public school options, uh, but it's something to really do your own research on it as well, I would suggest. You know, checking out websites like niche.com, greatschools.org, and maybe doing your own due diligence. It might be worth, you know, talking to a few parents from Hoboken, you know, maybe going around some schools and asking some questions, uh, just really doing your own due diligence so your child or maybe if you are planning to have children in the future could deserve the education that they do deserve. And one thing to really keep in mind is there's so many people that also opt out for, you know, charter schools, private schools. It's something that is, you know, that definitely has is financial tolls on it but also has its upsides. It really also depends on the kind of schooling you're looking for. But really overall to conclude the public schools in new jersey on average is great in hoboken it's definitely above average but if you're looking at something for like a 10 out of 10 kind of school you know charter school or a private school could be a better option for your needs all right so there you have it we went over the top 10 pros and cons of living in hoboken new jersey I really hope you found value in this video and maybe it helped you make your decision a little easier uh, whether to move to Hoboken or not. And if you are looking to move to Hoboken, New Jersey, whether it's one day later or 100 days later down the road, we'd be happy to help you make that smooth move. So you can contact us whenever you want about any questions or concerns all of our information in the description below and if you did like the video hit that thumbs up button and tap the subscribe button as well and we'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to north new jersey thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one